Hey, how's it going guys? This is Karan and today I'm showing you how to enhance your Windows 7 PC for gaming. So usually uh, the PCs which we usually get in the market are not enhanced for gaming and even if there is a good gaming PC, it's really expensive. So what I've done is I've had my old normal PC since what, 5 years or 4 years now? And I put Windows 7 on it and now I'm going to be showing you how to enhance it for gaming. So first thing is you, know, you want to do is go to run and type in percentage temp percentage. So that's temp. So you open it and you see all these folders and these are actually folders which is not required. So you can just control alt all and delete it. It doesn't matter, it's just folders which you need to delete. So you can see how much space you're saving. And you cannot delete some because Windows thinks it's required. It's actually not, but it's better to keep it anyway. So just skip both. And you can see that they've been deleted and empty your recycle bin. Okay. And now what you need to go is type in msconfig in the search bar ms config go there and don't do anything with the other tabs here just go to startup and check what all uh, if it's legit and see which uh, software you need or uh, when you boot your computer so you can see that i have my nvidia geforce experience and avast antivirus ticked now if i untick this what will happen is Avast won't switch on, Avast won't get enabled when I boot my computer. So but I need Avast because it's an antivirus so you, you really need it. So I'm just going to keep that and sometimes computers have so many softwares that uh, have to be launched during boot that it takes a hell of a lot of time. Because sometimes you can see that you have so many softwares here when you switch your computer on. So this is the way to stop them from switch, uh, starting when you boot your computer. So uh, next thing you want to do is uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make your pen drive into RAM. Alright, so now I'm going to be showing you how to make your USB device into RAM. So you can see that I have I have already converted into RAM and it's a legit Windows thing. It's not a hack or something. So what you need to do is go to click on your USB device and click properties. Go to ready boost and I've already used mine for ready boost. So uh, it, it, it'll come. Uh, uh, do you want to use this device for ready boost or not? And just select it and it'll give you a. Uh, suggestion for how much space you need to use for ready boost so use that space and just convert it and uh, my computer has become much faster since I'm doing this so yeah uh, the next thing I'm go going to show you is actually a software it's game booster 3 I'll just switch on just a minute yeah <clears throat> so this is a software which enhances our computer for gaming uh, what it actually does is it's kill all, it kills all the background apps that are running which is not visible to you. So what to do is you need to just click on switch to boost, start boost and it just takes some, take some time and you can see that you can see the difference. So enhanced by 44% and after you finish gaming just click on restore and it'll just uh, cancel out everything that it did and it'll bring back all the background apps yeah so the next thing i'm going to be showing you guys is how to stop some services on your computer so to do that you need to go to manage on click right click on my computer and click on manage you need administrator access for this now you need to go to services and applications services and it just takes some time to load so yeah it's here now you can disable the stuff that you don't want i suggest disabling stuff that you're pretty sure that you don't want if you don't know something what it means please don't disable it so you can see that i've disabled some stuff i'll just show you which one ah yeah this one ip helper and internet that was already disabled but ip helper if you disable this 
it uh, helps you. Uh, you this I, I didn't disable the net thing uh, one more thing I disabled which really boosted up my computer ah super fetch this I don't know what it does but it really sped up my computer after I disabled it so ju to disable just double click it and just start up type disabled and click on apply that's all you need to disable it another thing I would suggest to disable is uh, Windows search it depends on how you use Windows search I don't use it that much so I so you can see that I've already disabled it okay yeah so that's about it so if you like this video please like please and subscribe it helps me out hugely and yeah okay thanks bye